Hi right, everyone, welcome to week one in the NFL. Here are our picks for the one o'clock games. Unfortunately, the fat man could not join me for this week's picks. Hopefully, he'll be able to join us me for the 4 p.m. games video and the Sunday night and Monday night game video. We're going to start in Buffalo, where the Bills host the Patriots. Bills are 10-point underdogs. I'm going to take the Bills. I think that despite E.J. Manuel missing all his time at training camp, he's... There's not a lot to keep on him, and when he was in the preseason, he was excellent. Yes, the Patriots have a great defense, but I just can't see the Bills losing by 10 points. I think C.J. Spillers primed for an amazing season. I'm going to take the points. Moving to our second game, where are the Titans travel to Pittsburgh, take on the Steelers. Titans, seven-point dogs, and again, I am taking the points. I predict a big season for C.J. Spiller, or excuse me, Chris Johnson, the other C.J. in the league. Uh, I just see that that offense will be improved after dra drafting Chance Warmack first in the first round and signing Andy Levitre. I think that will be big for their uh, run game. Plus, they got drafted Justin Hunter in the second round, so they could have a very good passing game. If Jake Locker improves. The Steelers' defense is in decline. Aging defense. You're replacing Casey Hampton at nose tackle. Questions in the secondary. Questions in the linebacking core. Plus, that offense replacing Mike Wallace with. What are they going to do? No Heath Miller, no Le'Veon Bell, lots of question marks. Take the seven points. Moving to our third game, Falcons at Saints. Saints three-point favorites. I'm taking the Saints, giving the three points. The Saints are incredibly difficult to beat in New Orleans, and that's going to be even more apparent today when the Saints welcome back Sean Payne to the sideline. I expect the crowd to be all over the Falcons all game. I, expect it's, I think it's going to be... Not at the same level as the first game back after Katrina in the Superdome, but I'm expecting it to be just below that. I have, I see this felt the Saints winning this one, and I see them winning it by possibly double digits. Move to our next game. Deverell Rivas' return to New York as the Buccaneers take on the Jets. Bucks three-point favorites. I'm taking the Bucks, giving the three points. I don't like the Jets, especially with Geno Smith starting at quarterback. You don't know what you're going to get there. He was horrible in the preseason. He needs some more time to develop, and it's not great throwing him into the fire right away on a team with very few offensive weapons. I think the Bucks could have a big game offensively. Doug Martin, and backer Carl Nix, and Davin Joseph. And I think that the Jets now don't have that top corner that can take away Vincent Jackson and Mike Williams. So I'm taking the Bucks, giving the three points. Move to the battle of the worst teams in the NFL last year. The Kansas City Chiefs, three and a half point favorites to travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jags. I'm giving the three and a half points with the Chiefs. I see this is a very talented team. You got a great running back in Jamal Charles. Alex Smith and Andy Reid should improve that offense. Big time improvement over Romeo Cornell and Matt Castle. Three and a half points, not a big number delay. I'm going to do so. I just don't see the Jags producing any offense. I think Maurice Jones Drew is past his prime and he's not going to be able to get much on the ground. Take the Chiefs. Moving to the Bengals and the Bears. Maybe a sleeper for game of the, the game of the night at the 1 p.m. start times. Bengals plus three. I'm going to take the points. I think they could win this game outright. I'm not a fan of the Bears' protection on that offensive line. And I think the, the one Bengals do one thing while on the defensive line. It's get to the passer. Michael Johnson, their franchise player. Carlos Dunlap got a big extension. Geno Atkins just got a big extension. They got a very talented defensive line. I'm going to take the three points. They could win this one outright, I, despite the improvements I expect Mark Tressman to make on the Bears' offense. We go to the next game. This is the game I had the most trouble picking. It's the Dolphins at Browns. Dolphins, one point dogs. I'm going to take the points. Not a game I'm a big fan of. It's very tough to call. Uh, you, you, really, the question comes down to, does Trent Richardson carry the Browns to victory? Because I do not like that offense. You really have no good receiving options for Brandon Whedon without Josh Gordon. He's suspended for the first two games. Dolphins, it's Lamar Miller. Do you trust him as a starting running back? You have Ryan Tannehill. How much do you like him as a second-year quarterback? Throwing the ball to Mike Wallace. So... I'm going to take the Dolphins. Not a fan of this game to pick. I'd stay away from it. Next game, Seahawks travel Carolina. Minus three point favor. Minus three. I'm going to take the Seahawks. I love that defense. I think it could be the best in the NFL. And that offense is going to be tough for the Panthers to stop. Yes, the Panthers have a pretty good front seven, but that secondary is atrocious. I think that Golden Tate and Sidney Rice could have big games while Marshawn Lynch just hammers away and breaks down the front seven. Take the Seahawks, give three points. Moving to the Vikings, going to Detroit for a battle of NFC North teams. 
Vikings five and a half point dogs and I'm taking the points. I just don't trust the Lions on defense. It was a big problem last year and they really didn't do much to improve it. They signed Jason Jones. They drafted Ziggy Onsad, but they got a question mark in replacing uh, Justin Durant in linebacking corps. I think Adrian Peterson wants to prove that last year wasn't a fluke. I expect him to be trying to carry this team to victory again. I think Christian Ponder will be improved. I think that Cordell, Daryl Patterson and Greg Jennings are upgrades over whatever they got at Percy Harvin last year, which was not much for half the season, and um, Jerome Simpson. So I'm going to take the Vikings in the five and a half points. Moving to our last game of the one o'clock hour, Raiders plus 10 at Colts. I'm going to take the points with the Raiders just because there's not a lot on Terrell Pryor. I think that Terrell Pryor could open up a lot for Darren McFadden. We haven't seen these two play together. It's a very interesting um, game because there's not a lot of tape on this Raider team. Yes, they have a bad defense, but the strength of the defense is the secondary, which is a surprise because it's been a weakness last year. But they went out and signed uh, Mike Jenkins from the Cowboys. They drafted DJ Hayden. They signed Tracy Porter. They still have one of the best young strong safeties in Tavon Branch. They have Charles Wolf Woodson at free safety. So that you got an interesting secondary. Question is, on offense, can they put up the points? Can they limit the Colts on defense? I don't think the Colts have much of a running game, so I think it's going to be on Andrew Luck's shoulders. And I think the Raiders can limit that. Well, on offense, I think that Darren McFadden could have a huge game against this Colts defense. And I think that Terrell Pryor is going to limit his mistakes throwing the ball and make some big plays running the ball. And it's going to be an interesting read option game. Because there isn't a read co option quarterback that is this big. I guess you could say Cam Newton, but he doesn't really play much of a read option. So take the Raiders in the 10 points in a bit of a long shot bet. But I like the Raiders in the opening week. This is the hardest week to, to pick because you haven't seen these teams play yet. So those are my picks. Hopefully all your picks are winners. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, um, share it with all your friends, and comment down below. Hope to hear from you guys. Hope you can watch all the other videos that we have up. And that is our picks for week one, 1 p.m. games. Thanks for watching.